Why shoot a film out of order? Why not? Okay, we're here back on set for day two, I'm trying to finish off this other movie for the clients. Um, still shooting things out of order. This day we are shooting things out of order because of the makeup of our actor. He has aging makeup on. And so we have to do the close-ups first because as the day goes on, the makeup kind of wears off. You can still get away with um, you know, wider shots, but you can't get away with the close-up shots as much. Mm. I'm gonna scarf this ice cream. <laughs> Is it warm or cold outside? <laughs> so cold. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's so cold. It is, uh, what's the temperature? It is 55 degrees outside oh, on the down with a little bit of wind chill factor. It's probably 40, 45 degrees with wind chill factor. Goodness. All right, let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Let's go. Um, what are your thoughts about shooting out of order and how did it work? With the <laughs> feature we're working on? Yeah. So when we set up the jib and the dolly track, it was, we never had to move the track or point, really po angle the jib, like turn everything around. We kind of just turned the bench. So it looked like uh, it was from whole another angle, but it, we didn't have to move at all. Yeah, and that's really kind of one of the biggest reasons for shooting stuff out of order is we had we had three shots that were the same angle, but they were, you know, in different parts of the script. Um, so it allowed us to shoot all those same shots from that angle out of order, but so that we only had, you know, one set up here, we switched, we shot three shots from that angle, um, all out of order, and we switched and we shot another three shots, you know, from that angle out of order. So it helped us to only really have to do three setups today when really we had, what was it? We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine shots. Yeah, so three shots per angle. We had nine shots, and we only had to do three setups. Then you guys are very meticulous about how you plan things. In editing, from what I've seen, it all fits together like perfectly. So, so this is our shoot order list. What it is is it's a shot list that isn't just the shots, but it's also organized in what time of day we're gonna be shooting and what order we'll be shooting these shots. So as you can tell, we have 1.2.1, 2.13.2, 1.2.2, 1.2.5. I mean, that's the order that they're shot in. The first number, 1.2.1, that's one is the act that it is in because it's actually a play that we're interpreting into a film. So it's act one, scene two, shot one. The next one that we're shooting is um, act two, scene 13, shot two. So it's all over the place. So what we actually did here is we have, like our typical shot list, a platform, what lens we're shooting with. In this case, we have time and we have the location because we're switching locations for all these different shots to maximize our backgrounds. Um, and then we have the dialogue and the movement in one area. And so we have all the dialogue that we need to make sure that we for sure cover from that shot. Now, what we do to make sure everything flows, so outside of the shoot order shot list, we have a script order shot list that has the script just as it would appear in the actual script. Now we just broken apart like a typical shot list. We have our script supervisor, Jacob, on set and he's coaching them through how that sequential order is. Do this, do this, because we're at the end of our walk, do it with your arms on each other's shoulders, like buddy, buddy. Now remember, you just finished rubbing his head, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So fake like you, rub his head. Okay. And so what you're telling me? Just what you're telling me is that Father's Day is only about fathers getting shots. That's right. When we're doing the shoot order, he's able to then tell them, okay, we are working on shot 1.2.5, but 1.24 leads in to 1.25 this way and 1.25 leads out into 1.26 this way. So what that does is allows us to not only get the coverage that we need, but also get only the coverage that we need. Minimizing the, the differences in different takes that would make havoc in editing. So then we can just redo these, redo them, redo them until we know it's perfect for the way that that scene should be presented. What do you think about it, Jake? I think it's time to pack all this up. <laughs> we'll see you next time.
three, two, one. Happy Thanksgiving! And happy season two. Of the process. Of the process. <laughs> of the process. <laughs>